So we just saw in a previous video uh, first method for adding vectors graphically. So we had some vector A and some vector B and we added them through the tip to tail method. So we started at some original position let's say and then we took the tip of A and connected it to the tail of B and we got a resultant vector C. So see the video in the description below on how to do that one. We're going to do it a different way now with a different approach and we're going to do what's called the parallelogram method. So the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to take vector A and all we need to do for vector A it's 2.5 centimeters so to get my ruler I do not change the direction of A. Notice here I keep the same direction for A and I make a 2.5 centimeter magnitude vector. So this is exactly vector A replicated here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down B, but this time instead of putting the tail of B at the tip of A, I'm actually going to put them tail to tail. So what I'm going to do is, like I did in the last video, is I'm going to use my set square to remain um, parallel and perpendicular to the original vector B. So I have a parallel direction, but now I'm orthogonal or perpendicular to B when I come down this way. Whoops, I moved my ruler a bit. I'm just going to redo that. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to come down. This is now perpendicular to B. So I'm going to slide down perpendicular to B. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so now give me a second here to get this just right. Perfect. So now this line here is parallel to B the way I've done it. And B was 5 centimeters, so I'm just going to create a 5 centimeter line with the proper color for B. So from here to here, that's 5 centimeters. I'm a bit off, but for display purposes, I think we all know what I'm intending. Now, get out your compass. Okay? So, the compass or the tool that helps you draw um, circles, right? We're going to use that to add our vectors in what's called the parallelogram method. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go along A and I'm going to change the size or the opening of my compass to be perfectly the size of A. So give me a second here. Okay, there we go. So now notice that I'm perfectly the size of A. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the tip of B. And at the tip of B, I'm just going to make a little arc there. And this arc represents every vector coming off of B. Well, not every because I didn't make the full circle, but pretty much every vector coming off of B that's exactly the same length as A. So the same length as A in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. This is almost like infinitely many vectors that are all the, the length or magnitude of A being added to B. And now we'll do the same thing. We will open our compass to be exactly the size of B. I went a little too far there. Come back a bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, a little too much. Okay. So now I'm exactly the size that B is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tip of A. And going to the tip of A is like adding all vectors whose magnitudes are the size of B. So now this is all the set of vectors that are the magnitude of B being added to A. And notice that they intersect right here. And that point of intersection is exactly the point where if you added B to A or A to B, you would get the result in C. So this point of intersection right here is the resultant vector C. Okay, And if you notice, this C that we did previously using the tip to tail method and this C that we've just created using what's called the parallelogram method, I'll show you why it's a parallelogram in a second, are exactly the same. If you account for a little human error, I made a mistake there in the corner, but for all intents and purposes of the demonstration, we have equivalent vectors C. And the reason why this is called the parallelogram method is because this vector here
completes a parallelogram composed of the vectors a and b. So this would be a and this would be a, and here's b and here's b. And the vectors a and b create a parallelogram whose diagonal is the resultant vector c.